Hey guys, I wanted to do a video <clears throat> um, on how to record a album. This is like an album that you have on your computer or whatever through from your onto a cassette tape. This is this will be useful for people that have cars that have cassette tape players in them and also that don't have unlimited data, which I don't have unlimited data, and I also prefer the sound of cassette tapes, mainly because you can make a cassette tape sound as good and as clear as a, a vinyl or even a, a really high quality CD, but there's you. But with a CD compared to a cassette, you'll never get the, the analog, analog sound, meaning it's the warmth of the sound, so yeah. I, will, I can show you the difference between a CD and a stock CD and a stock cassette. This is like a pre-recorded cassette. This isn't, but a, like a, you know what I mean. So you'll you'll be able to hear like the warmth between the two different sounds. So the warmth and the cold, and you'll be able to, you know what I mean. You you well, whatever you'll you'll know, you know what I mean. Just go and do your own research on what I'm saying. But today I'm going to be showing you how to record uh, music onto a cassette tape. There's two different types of cassettes, meaning uh, lengthwise. Turn that down. Um, there's 60, and there. No, nope, I don't have any. And then there's 90-minute tapes. 90-minute and 60-minute means it has 60 minutes for the entire tape. So, for example, 60 minute has 30 on each side. 90 is 45 on each side. Usually, the 30 minutes be it, it's not really 30 minutes. It's usually more so like 31, 30 minutes, and maybe a few more seconds, or even 30 an extra minute or so. But most of the time, with the Maxells, uh, you are. Normal, the UR normal position type 1 tapes they have 31 minutes and also yeah but one other thing to note is that there is a um, 7 second 6 or 7 second uh, time wait thing when before you get to the uh, before it starts reeling in the tape so like let me show you what I mean There's a seven, seven second time wait for, between the the uh, that the, see the little clear plastic and then t until you actually get to the magnetic tape film. So yeah, there's a seven second delay. So you'll make need to make a seven second sound of just uh, white noise or or just noise in general. But I've already made one, which I'm need, I've been needing to remake, but haven't gotten it. I'm just a bit lazy on that because what I have worked. So, yeah. The tape deck that we'll be using today. A second. The tape deck that we'll be using today is the Yamaha K222. The Sansui doesn't record for some reason, but whatever. But uh, the deck that we'll be using to record this, these tapes are is this one. It's probably the best deck that I have in the recording, considering that one doesn't even record. But it ha it's an amazing player because it has an auto reverse, and it sounds real, really clear. Not as clear. It is, they, these two about the same. The same sound the same, but I've gotten used to the sound of this one, opposed to this one. <coughs> so, what we need to do is you need to put your tape in the in the deck. And this one has a uh, button that will let you uh, push, you can just push it. That is if the tape allows to record, because right here, if you punch those things out, you will not ever, you will never be able to record on this on this tape ever again, 
unless you uh you you put something like tape or something on it to make it so that the sensor doesn't detect or think or know that the tape has been written protected. Most of the time, a, like a piece of black tape will work or something something strong. So yeah, but just push the record and then turn your volume up. <clears throat> or for this one is you, I recommend turning them up so that you can get because what this is is the, it's the tape volume meaning if you turn the tape if you turn the volume up on the tape you won't have to turn it very much you won't have to turn it up as much on the deck or on the players so yeah and then you also have the UV light and, uh, bars which will let you uh, see how if the music if the sound is peaking or what Okay, so after we figured out the the deck, <coughs> sorry, my voice is like sounds like shit. <coughs> after I, since we're done with the deck now, you know how to uh, put put the tape in the deck in the deck and all that fun stuff. What you need to do now on your receiver is I have it on tape. This is the. Whenever whatever source your your system is running off of, it will uh, right now my net right now my name my name my deck is in tape slash uh, media disc or mini disc or something I don't know what MD stands for I know it's something disc, but I can go with the CD tape uh, TV tuner. I'll turn that off and you can see right here. I have it on a uh, FM AM and any input that's coming out of the deck so I'll show you that so yeah you can see that the uh, any any audio that's coming from the speakers like phonograph tuner sorry, any so any audio that's coming from the the speakers a uh, phono tuner CD tape t TV or video mine it, it, the my computer runs through video so anything that comes out the speakers w can will be monitored by the tape deck so yeah just keep that in mind because you don't you don't have to do it for this well, for this deck you all you have to do is just click select your uh, your uh, source slash input or output or whatever you want to have come through the speakers and the tape will record it and will monitor it. So, so like if you want to record a record, you could record a CD, you could or anything. So, for this we're using the video. Okay, now after you've picked your album, I recommend choosing an album that's either it's uh the set that matches the cassette. So like Fucking hell, you stupid camera. Okay. So this tape is The Sky's Gone The Sky's Gone Out by Bauhaus. It is fifty-nine minutes and fifty-eight seconds. So that is an hour and will fit perfectly on this tape so what you need to do now is you need to split the sound split the, set, the, the album into two different uh, sides so 14 divided by 2 is 7 so what we need to do is we need to get each side will have 7 tracks Sometimes it will be uneven, like maybe one side will have more than the equal amount, and mainly for time, but... What, wait, what did that say? Okay. So we need to make the album. The side, the, the skies, the skies gone out, side, side A. So, th you can do this with any pl any uh, player, I mean, m uh, media player. 
if it support it has to support playlists. So yeah, pretty much every single one supports playlists, but you know what I mean. And then you want to do the same thing to the for the other side. The the skies gone out side B. You don't need to do any more details to the to the thing. So now you want to add your uh, your um, little your seven six seven second uh, queuing thing. This will play in the beginning of the album or in the beginning of the play for all the songs. Because when you push play on this on this deck, you can push record and you can uh, play your music and use the UV to see if it's spiking or whatever. I don't know about all decks. I know something like this deck, you could push record and then pause and do that because I've had other decks that that you can push record and then pause and you can see the uh, input levels. So, but the, also these levels are also kind of weird, meaning this one spike, this one bounces, goes higher at whenever it really should, and this one doesn't. So, yeah, like for example, one on. On a, for example, this this deck will go all red, depending on what if I'm playing something like that's loud, like the actual music is loud, and and it will go all the way to the red. But for this one, it'll usually go the maximum I've ever seen is right there. Let me zoom in so you can see, it is right there, the third bar, or third block. So, yeah. But you want to have that. You want to make sure it's not. If this one also doesn't have any red lines, this one does, even though it doesn't look like it. But you see, that's the red line, and also it has red past those. So now you want to add this into your soundtrack, or you want to add this into your playlist that you just created. So okay. So now I'm gonna go to my playlist. Okay, so I have my playlist. Put them at the very top. Same thing for the other one. Other top. And then you also want to do see how long your the each side is. So this one is close to equal. One is 30 minutes and the other one's 29 minutes. So that works perfectly. So what you want to do now is you want to turn your turn your system on. I turn you not turn your system on. I just turn the volume off so I can play FM and show you that it was spiking and all that. But right now you want to play your music. And here we go. And then turn your system volume, your computer volume, up and down until you get the perfect. Like, that seems perfect. Like, that seems pretty perfect to me. But sometimes whenever it's like that, it'll be a little bit too low. So, yeah. I recommend it being a little bit like that. It'll go into the red. But I'd also recommend not that much into the red. Like, like that. Like that. That's good. And now, when you want to, when you start recording, just push play, and it'll start recording. But you want to play the playlist. Like I'll show you, like right here. What I recommend doing is starting the tape first, and then pushing play, and it will play the. So, and now just sit back, relax, enjoy your music. Because that's all you can fucking do. Also, I'd also recommend uh, going into your... If, this is if you're using Windows. I don't know about Mac, because I haven't used Mac in years. Go and mute uh, system sounds and other applications that you have running so that they aren't... Um, so if any notifications or any sounds like that come up, Oh shit, I messed up my thing. Great. 
I'm retarded. So if anything comes up like that, you just, all you have to do is just, uh, um, uh, you don't have to worry about it interrupting and mixing in with your audio. So, yeah. Uh, this video is starting to get a little bit, a little bit long, but I don't know. But I guess thanks for watching. So, yeah. I'll take a see if the snapshot button does anything. Does it do anything? Nope. I guess that's that whenever it's in photo mode. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Also, please hit the like button just so I can to, sh to show your support and that you actually enjoy my videos. Because, to be honest, I just see views and I don't know if anyone actually enjoys them. So, hit the like or dislike button. I don't care. But, but please don't hit the dislike button after watching it for 30 seconds. Please. It's just pathetic. And just shows how much of a pathetic and worthless person you are. So, yeah. That, that is if you watch the video, oh, I don't... I'm just going to dislike this because for no, absolutely no reason, but you know what I mean. Also, and, and subscribe if you want to keep watching my content, because I upload randomly, so I don't, there's no, like, I'm going to upload tomorrow. There's, I'm not going to say, oh, I'm going to upload every day kind of thing, so it'll all, it's always, like, random whenever I feel like recording, so thanks for watching.